guys so welcome to my youtube channel yeah i'm called nairoba sharon some people call me nation yeah so i'm here on the program that we call let's talk about it so we are here to talk about our campus experiences you know i here to talk about the things that we've gone through here at campus our expectations, what we expected, what we didn't expect, what we've learned from campus, yeah, and all that. Yeah, so I'll go first. Yeah. I'll start by sharing my experience. So in this book, there are ten questions that I'm going to use. Yeah, like I'll read the question and then answer it. Yeah, you can also use the same questions in your video. In case you want, or you can make your own questions. Yeah, but let's share experiences. Yeah, let's talk about it. Maybe someone out there will learn from it. Maybe someone out there will be inspired. Yeah, so I'll go first. So question number one says, what were your expectations at campus? So my expectations, I had different expectations at campus first of all like i had i had big dreams i wanted everything i had my list i was like when i go to campus i will because they had told me about campus leadership they were like it's so good so i was like when i go to campus i'll first become a course leader then i'll become a grsp then i'll become a chief fresher after that, I'll become a group president. <laughs> it's actually funny. Because <laughs> on reaching class, like the first day, I could not even... They, they, they asked for people who want to contest for course leader. I could not even stand up. Because I didn't have the confidence. So, the course leader time passed. When it was time for GRSs, I didn't show up. When it was time for Chief Fresher, I didn't show up. I was like, I guess campus politics is not for me. So I gave up on that. Then another thing, when I was coming to campus, they told me, they they were emphasizing these two things. They were like, campus, campuses are players. Yeah, campus girls are players. Yeah. A campus girl can have like six, six boyfriends, one for tuition, one for hostel, one for nails, one for hair, one for clothes. So they were like, campuses are players. And they were like, you are going to see them out there. On reaching campus, it was not the case. Mm. We were like, I almost had no boyfriend. <laughs> but they were like, campuses are players. You, you cannot be a campuser and you don't have a boyfriend. It is a lie. And they were like, campus girls, if you're a campus girl, you must have a sugar daddy. So when I was coming to campus, I thought sugar daddies are around. Like when I come to campus, I will see my sugar daddy. <laughs> they are not there. Anyway, I never wanted one, but I expected to see them around. But like every campus girl has a sugar daddy. Those girls love like older men. They want a lot of money. It's what they told me. So it's what I expected. Then they like campus boys are players, never date one. So <laughs> I expected to find players. Mm. It's true to some extent, though to some extent it's not true. Then they were like at campus be careful of two things. Yeah. They they told me as I was leaving home, my aunt overemphasized, she was like, leave men alone, do not leave campus pregnant. And very many other people told me that thing. They're like at campus, you either live pregnant or with a degree or with HIV or when you dead. Yeah, so those they were like, make sure that you avoid the others because if you get HIV, you will die. Yeah, so <laughs> they like, stay away from men because if you stay away from men, you don't get HIV. So I came at campus expecting HIV. They were like, HIV is there. Yeah, HIV is there, but. I came at campus and I'm so scared because they scared me a lot with HIV. Then which other 
expectation. Mm. Another expectation I had, I expected to find good things at Vampas. In high school, they used to tell us, you read hard in high school, because at campus you're going to have all the time, no one is going to wake you up. No one is going to wake you up, but you have to wake yourself up so that you can read because things are hard. Things are actually harder at campus than I thought. So I expected to find easy things, but things are hard. Yeah, so those were some of my expectations. Then, what did you expect to find? Mm, first, the first thing that shocked me. Like my first day in class, students were too serious. They were too serious and too bright. Like everyone was bright. I was shocked. I kept quiet. Like the full semester, students were so serious. They were always giving answers. I was like, ah. It was not like high school where well, but you always had like one bright student at campus. Everyone is bright in first year. Yeah, so I never expected that. Then. What I didn't expect to find is that I didn't expect to find hardcore scenics, but I did. Yeah, things are not easy, they're very, very hardcore scenics, but you have to try your best. Yeah. Then, others are forgotten. Then, the third question is, what are those things you wanted to do but you didn't? Mm. The things I wanted to do but I didn't, when I when I had just come to campus, when I just had just come to campus, I was like, I'm going to save my money, because I I always had those stories of people who leave campus and then suffer later in life. So I was like, I don't want that story. Um, I'll be saving money like ten percent of every money that I get. Oh. <laughs> I didn't save anything. I didn't save anything and I understand it's not my fault. The reason is because I wasn't working. But I promised myself to save. I promised to leave campus loaded. I didn't do that. Then, another thing that I wanted to do but I didn't. I was like, when I'm at campus, I'm going to have the last story. I'm going to have this when I just come. I was like, I'm going to have a tall, dark, handsome man with hair. Mm. When he loves me so much, and I love him. Mm -hmm. I didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I expected like to have a love story, but after I found out that mm -hmm, things are not easy. Yeah, so, then another thing I expected to do, what else? I was like, I'll leave campus and I have like three businesses. Yeah, I actually expected to leave campus when I'm a woman of substance, a vicious woman, a woman of steel, just for me to leave when I'm normal. So <laughs> I had a lot of expectations. Yeah, though I got some. Yeah, I got some things that I wanted, that I always admired. Yeah, but some I didn't get, which is okay. Yeah, oh. I'll get later because I realized that to some extent I was maybe over dreaming, like I wanted everything. Yeah. Then another question is what was what are those things you said you'll never do but you did? Mm, when I was just in first year, I used to see third years. They were always chilling, like they cared less about books like Doris read like one day to exams and I could always wonder like how do these people feel because in first year we used to read like nobody we used to read like we are going for UNEB so I was like oh, I'll never be like that in third year I'll never I'll never like my morale for books will never reduce see myself right now <laughs> so <laughs> I'm in third year my finalist um I'm going out. Yeah. So my moral has reduced because of very many factors. But in first year I never understood that. So I used to chat to judge like third years I could be like, how can you be here? And you don't care about your books. Yeah. So
so it's not like they didn't care but by the time you reach by the time you become a finalist like you've gone through a lot and you you're really tired you just want to leave so it's the thing that i said i'll never do but i did then another question is what was your happiest moment my happiest moment was that day i entered campus my first day at campus because coming coming to campus was always my dream i always wanted to be at campus i always wanted to be called a campuser so my first day at campus i felt like i'm in heaven i always wanted to get that experience i always wanted to be there so it was my happiest moment yeah then what was your worst moment mm, my worst moment at campus it was in it was actually though i have had very many like bad moments but the worst one was in first year i was i was in some restaurant i was reading for a paper it was a marketing paper then they had rescheduled the paper to like an hour before it was supposed to be there at one and they rescheduled it like to midday and i wasn't informed so I missed that coursework. I missed it only for me to come like at one, hearing when everyone was talking about the paper. Hey, this number, this number, what did you get? It's like, aren't we just going for the paper? Hey, like the paper is done. I was shocked. I was just in first year, I cried. I cried because I was scared. In first year, yeah, I mean first year, first year, first semester, like I was so scared of everything. Yeah. I was excited to be at campus, but at the same time, I was scared of things happening to me. So when I missed that paper, I cried. Like, I cried. I went to the resource center crying, and then they worked on me. They gave me the paper immediately when I did it. Then I relaxed. But I was, I was so terrified. I was like, what if I don't continue with campus? Yet it was always my dream. So it was one of the worst moments. Yeah, there are so many I can tell. Then another question is that what did you love most about your university that you think other universities may not offer? Mm, there are very many things I love about my university, Makerele University Business School. There are very many, but yeah, one of them is our principal. Yeah, our principal like he's so nice, he's so peaceful. He's so understanding, he's a father, he's a mentor, he understands students, he understands what he's dealing with, he knows what he's doing. So, he's one of the things I love about my university. Yeah, Professor Waswa like, he's so nice, he's just so nice. Then, another question is, what would you have done differently? What I would have done differently in case in case there was a time machine uh, what I would have done differently is like having communication skills yeah, I've been at campus I've learned that course unit of business communication skills yeah I learned I learned it but putting that thing into real life has really been hard for me. I thought it was going to be easy. Yeah, I have had like that problem since childhood. Like, I do not communicate my feelings, communicating like how I feel. I do not, I can hardly say no to some things like those things. Like, I can hardly say no in case someone wants something, in case one, someone wants me to do for them something. Yeah, I can hardly say no even when it inconveniences me so in case i could redo it like i would love to have communication skills yeah not communicating how i feel has caused me a lot like i've gone through a lot whereby in in, in some situations it's my fault like i didn't communicate how i felt i didn't communicate that i'm not okay with this and that so 
it has had me go through a lot not having communication skills so if you're out there communication skills are important yeah tell people when you don't feel okay with what they're doing tell people when they make you happy tell people when you love them like speak out yeah so i'm not a vocal person um a silent person i rather like in case i'm annoyed i rather keep quiet and then walk away than talk about it so i feel like things would have been different in case i was vocal yeah so in case i would do things differently i would love to be a vocal person and then what lessons did you learn mm, i learned a lot of lessons as well when i was at campus first of all i'm not leaving like the way i left like the way i came sorry i'm not leaving like the way i came yeah campus can really change your perception like you're thinking about life the way you perceive things so my lessons the first lesson i learned is that know what brought you at a campus like i guess maybe three years four years five years so know what you came to do at campus i know there are very many things very many other things that you would love to do would love to be in relationships but in case you cannot multitask in case you cannot handle a relationship and books at the same time first drop that relationship in case you cannot handle work and books at the same time first drop work because you will work later after the three years the four years the five years so first give it your best give it your best it's better it's better you give it your best and it doesn't work out than not giving it your best and it doesn't work out because you will regret yeah in case you didn't give it your best yeah and you have issues so give it your best but in case you can multitask because they always tell us when you got campus do not do only books but you can still do only books and it works out yeah but in case you can handle very many things at the same time do that yeah but in case you can't first give your books your best you do the rest of your things later you party later you will be in relationships later you will make money later yeah then another thing that i learned is this put yourself interests first yeah put yourself in like love yourself love yourself do not make other people your priority love yourself put your interests first like do what is okay with you do what okay with you please do what is okay with you please people you yeah things and relationships and so always put yourself interests first then another thing i learned about campus is that hmm, relationships that are not close last yeah in case you're not